This is Melfa Selstang. Let's play Half Life. Welcome back. This is the second episode. It'd help if I press the button. Mark for protective system. In environments. Blah 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 blah. Okay, last episode we uh we got here this episode, I don't know what we're doing. And that's a picture of one of the developer's sons. So yeah. Time to go. I seriously don't know what happened to the cool music I do have the disc in though. Good to see you. It's like you're in the barrel today. That is strange. Dude's not even supposed to be there. Like, I just got done watching a lot of, uh... What's that? Oh yeah, Griffin Lobsters. Let's... No, not Let's Play. Just like the answering questions thing. Why does this thing take forever? Oh well. We're out of there. I didn't even know he knew I was coming. But oh well. That's not ours to decide. Control room. Didn't know we were launching a missile. Hello, Gordon ah, Freeman. Gordon, it's good to see you. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer I hate this part. They're talking gibberish that neither you nor me are going to understand anyways. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some length. To they probably did. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Yes, let me in now! Boom! It's a mouth and mouth critical. No, it's not. It just broke. That's all it did. It, it broke. Everything's okay in here. For now. Be and this is some more boring listening to people. Yes, but with good reason. But hey, at least we're getting into the game now. So I have no idea what they're talking about. Frankly, I don't care. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly I'm gonna give you all, make you all drunk, or dizzy, uh, or maybe just give yes, you an epileptic right. seizure. Gordon, we have complete maybe a photosynthetic seizure, well, go ahead. or whatever them Let's things were called. Like, don't, does anybody, like, remember where they had, like, the things in the beginning of the manual that like warned of seizures because of all the lights and stuff. I remember those. I think the latest game I have from there that has one in it is like Half-Life. I mean, no, not Half-Life. Halo. Playing Half-Life. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Alright, Gordon, right, your suit should keep you comfortable. I'm waiting for him to open up this button. But yeah, like, I don't know, just sort of been a slow day trying to get these made. I have no idea when I'm going to post them, but maybe I'll get some sort of schedule up to where I can post them for everybody sort of quick. So, we'll see how all that goes. I might be doing an LP with a, a buddy of mine tomorrow. Might go through Doom, and we'll, we'll see how when that gets posted up. This is sort of another boring part, but whatever breaks in here, just y'all be reminded that I didn't do it. <sighs> if you do jump in there, it will hurt you. I'm pretty sure it will. I've, I've never done it, though. 
No, I don't sniff crack if you're wondering, because I, I just always have a somewhat stuffy nose. I think it's allergies, because seriously, it is spring. <coughs> I'm goss jumping if no one knows what I'm doing. Because this is a very old game. Ow. Okay, yes, I think we've concluded that that will hurt you. Hey, had this game 10 years, been playing it 10 years, and learned something new. Okay. That is some crappy looking rock. But oh well, like I said, it's the Quake 2 engine, so... I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Y'all told me what- y'all told me to put the thing in there. I didn't do it. This is where things get on crack. I'm just gonna stand right here. Pretty sure nothing will fall on me right here. I have died in the beginning of the game right there because something did fall on me and kill me. I'm dead! No, I'm kidding. We're alive nonetheless. Okay, I didn't get move because I think something will fall on me down there. Okay. That's weird looking. I wonder if I can jump on top of him. Nope. Oh well. At least I tried. Hey, Grandpa! Goodbye, Grandpa. Level 2, Unforeseen Consequences. I guess it's not really a level, I guess I'll group these into chapters. Now we need to get out of here, because I have been killed in this building before. Oh, in that room. Before. Don't have that much time left, so... Rawr! I'm not gonna wait around for you guys. Whoa, I forgot that happened. I'm probably gonna have moments like that because I haven't played this in years. I usually can like blow past this game in like 45 minutes. I didn't say listen. I took more of them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that happening. This is Eli. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Get he gets his leg on the right there, taken off by some bull squid, which were the things I was trying to jump on earlier. Follow me. Haha, yeah. uh -huh, you can't get to me. Alright, I'm gonna try to at least get my weapon, because I got like two minutes left to recording, so... Ow. I, I wouldn't worry about me taking damage that much because I really have played through this game enough times to know what I'm doing. Even though I'm only playing it on medium, still. Bye bye. And look at all these gibs. That's the only thing of use down here. I think we'll run back up the ladder. And try not to die. It's not like I had to re-record this because I died, but I have died because of this. GET SOME! I don't know, but you should probably keep shooting at him. GET SOME GNOME! Yes, I just killed a man for his gun. Uh, okay, I think that's like... That's almost ten minutes, or maybe ten minutes, I'm not sure. But, I'm gonna cut it here, so I'll see you guys next episode, and... It's been real. See you later.